Good morning and welcome to Kids Rock for July 11th. I'm so glad you've tuned in to join me this morning and welcome to our worship space here at the church. Let's light our praise candle as we begin. And now I'll say, the Lord be with you, and you respond, and also with you. Are you ready? The Lord be with you, and also with you. Thank you. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you that we can be together here this morning in this way. Thank you for this time that we can pause to worship you. Bless our time. Give us ears to hear. In Jesus' name, amen. So today we're going to discover that God made us for a special purpose. So let's sing about that with the song that's called Made for This. Let's sing. <laughs> Dear friends, I'm Savannah, and I'm a giraffe. I live on grassy plains called savannas on the continent of Africa. Giraffes are the world's tallest mammals. We grow up to 19 feet tall. That's taller than three adult humans. Since we're so tall, we can look far out over the savanna. We've got excellent vision, too. It's easy to spot other animals far away. 
Of course, when you see me, the first thing you notice is my spots. These spots are spectacular and special. Spots help people figure out what kind of giraffes we are and where we live on the continent of Africa. Maasai giraffes live in Kenya. Their spots are a little smaller and look like leaves on an oak tree. Other giraffes have spots that look more like square shapes. You all have fingerprints that are unique to just you. Well, like unique fingerprints, no two giraffes have the same spots. My spots make me special and one of a kind. And all my cool spots remind me of God's love for all people. In the Bible, book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 18, it says, And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. When God created the world, He created people in an extra special way. We can read about it in Genesis, the first book of the Bible. The first people's names were Adam and Eve. God made them for a purpose, to be his friends and to be in charge of this wonderful world. God made each of you for a special reason too. You have an important purpose, to show the world what God's like. God is caring, so you show what God's like when you care for His creation. God wants a friendship with each one of us, and you show what God's like when you're a good friend. And God's creative. Guess what? You show what God's like when you create cool stuff. God created people to praise and honor Him. God is so good. I wonder, who will spot God's love through you today? God always loves us. Weren't those cool things we learned about giraffes? All right, let's take a quick look at our verse here from Ephesians 3, 18, for, which is our memory verse for this month of July. I'm going to do some actions. If you watched last week, you might remember this, and maybe by the end of the month, you're all, including me, going to be able to say it without looking at the words. So I'm going to say a line, and then you echo and do after, do it after, do it. Do it after me. Here we go. And may you have the power. And may you have the power. To understand. To understand. As all God's people should. As all God's people should. How wide. How wide. How long. How long. How high. How high. How deep. How deep God's love is. God's love is. And it's found in Ephesians 3.18. Did you get through it all? When we're done here, maybe you want to practice that without even watching me and see if you're learning that verse from Ephesians chapter 3. All right. Last week, we talked about most of the things that God created. As, as talked about and explained to us in the very first book of Genesis, Genesis 1-1, where it says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And we talked about the sun and the moon and the stars and the birds and the animals and the trees and all those things. But there's one more thing that we didn't talk about last week that God created, the last thing. And today I'm going to read you the story out of our really cool Friends with God story Bible. And this story about the last thing God created, and it is told from Adam's perspective. So let's take a listen. The story is called, Wow, Just Wow, The Day God Made Me. And I love this title page, so I'm going to show you the title page for the story. With all its animals. I just think this is a really cool title page. All right. Here's what Adam had to say. Wow. I mean, wow. I can't believe what happened to me today. I was created. It was amazing. God had been very busy the last few days. First, there was nothing. And then every day, God made something new. Light, the ocean, the sky, the sun, the moon, the plants, the trees, the flowers, the fish, the birds. You name it. Everything was 
was made for a reason, and it was good. Yesterday, God made these things called animals. They're wonderful creatures, big ones and small ones, furry ones and tough ones, spotted ones and striped ones. Some have long necks. We're talking about Savannah there. And others have sharp teeth. Each one is unique. God is so creative. And here's the picture. And then God made something extra special. God made me. God took some dirt from the ground, the fresh dirt you've ever seen, and shaped me into the first ever brand new, pleased to meet you, human being. God's world is awesome. I love breathing the crisp air and eating the delicious fruit in the garden. But the thing I love most is what God made just for me. First, God made me go to sleep. Then, God took one of my ribs and turned it into the most dazzling creature I've ever seen. A woman. She's beautiful. And she's my wife. We watch over the animals and take care of the garden we live in, the Garden of Eden, together. God has given us everything we need. God must really love us. Wow. I am so thankful that God made me. Even though God made everything, God chose to make me. And God chose to make you, too. God wanted you to be a part of our very special world. God made you exactly as you are, and God never makes mistakes. And you know the best part? God made us because he loves us so much, and God will never stop loving us. Isn't that amazing? What's one thing in God's creation that amazes you? Think about that question for a minute. What's one thing in God's creation that amazes you? I want you right now to pause me and share that together. Share the answer with the people that you're watching with this morning. What's something that God created that amazes you? Now, there might be more than one thing, and that's okay. You're with your family in your home. You can share as many things as you want that God created that you think is really amazing. So, God saved the best for last. Do you recognize that picture? That's the same one that was in the storybook, isn't it? Pretty much. That I just did I just read to you. God saved the best for last people. God always loves us. God made people in his image. So one reason God made us is to show the world what he's like. That's our purpose. God made us in his image to show his love through a smile. So turn and smile to the people with you're with right now. God made us in his image to show he's a relational God who really cares about people. So give someone around you a high five. And God made you in his image to be creative, to come up with cool stuff that makes our world a better place. Our creativity can bring glory and honor and praise to God. So right now, get up and show up a creative dance move to those you're with. Go ahead and do that. This week, let's look for ways that we can show God's love, his care, his forgiveness, his grace, his kindness, his strength to whoever we meet. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for making us who we are in your image. Thank you for this beautiful world that you have made and given to us to enjoy. 
In Jesus' name, amen. So, it's time to think about our response to our story for today. If you have your response or your God's Loving Journals handy, you can write or draw whatever you feel like in there as a response to the story about God making people. Maybe something you're thankful for. Maybe a God sighting them. Something amazing. Maybe one of the things you just shared about, about what you think is one of God's amazing creations, which is what I did in my book. Now, those of you that know me will not be surprised when I show you the picture that I drew in my book of God's amazing creation. Thank you, God, for making the beautiful mountains that you made for us to enjoy. And you know how much I love spending time in the mountains. They remind me of God's power in his presence. And of course, don't forget to date it, July 11th, so you can go back and you can look through all the things we've been noting over these last months as responses to our story. Now, you might also want to include that verse, Ephesians 3.18, in your book. If you didn't write it last week, maybe you want to write it in there this week, and uh, our, our memory verse for this month, and see if you can look at worthy now, together with your family. Well, there is a coloring picture. It looks like this on the website, Adam and Eve, and some of the animals and the plants in, in creation. And then there is a word search puzzle that I had to go and find a different one this week to make, but I need to a, a word search puzzle of God creates people for those of you that enjoy doing those. Well, thank you for joining me this morning. It was great to have you here with us today. Remember it this week. To be thankful that God is always with you and he loves you very, very much. Look for signs of his loving care in his beautiful creation around you this week. And now, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his face towards you and grant you his peace and his joy this week. That's it for today. See you next time.